Hello, welcome to Mammoth Online. Today we'll be learning about logarithmic function and how it comes from exponential function. Okay. In the previous class we learned about exponential function. Let's see some. Uh, let's understand that. Okay. So y equal to a power x was the exponential function. Now, inversion is a process where you change x to y and y to x. So in this case, this is our one function, let's say f of x is a function. This is our function. When we invert that, this y will become our new x and our x will become our new y. All right. So this is our inverted function. So when x becomes y, y becomes x, that is our inversion. So even though we talk about inversion, what is the process here? We are basically, you can see, in the exponential function, we were interested in the result. Whenever we try to raise a base to some powers, what was the result we are getting? That is y. That is what we are interested in. Some scenarios, we are more interested in the power of the function. Okay. So whenever we are interested in power, we change it, we invert it. Okay. So that inversion is this. So the, our new, brand new function which we got is this one. What is that? x equal to a to the power y very beautiful this one now big question is every time we are interested in expressing a function in explicit form always we do something like y is equal to f of x right this is how we write functions we always write y equal to f of x now Suddenly we have a scenario where y equal to f of x is not the case. We are getting a function which is in this form x equal to a power y. So to write that in the form of explicit function, you have to write it explicitly. We converted this. We converted this whole thing and we not we, I'll just write down John Napier. The mathematician who did this he introduced logarithm there we write y is equal to log base a x which is exactly same as x equal to a power y this was written in this way okay so what does it mean it means <clears throat> what should be the power of a so that you get x right and that power is y please understand it says what should be the power of a so that you get x and that power is y same here it asks the question like what should be the power of a so that you get x and that power is y okay so we normally call it like logarithm base a x this is also how we use it okay but to better understand it, we can say what should be the power of A so that you get X. Okay. I'll give you an example of this. Imagine I had a logarithm. Okay. And this base 2. And I write 8 here. Okay. What is this value? To understand that, you should realize this is same as this. Right. So this can be written as this is the base. 2 is the base. A is the base. 2 is the base. So I can write it as. 2 power something let's say that something is x we don't know and that is equal to not let's say not say x because x it will become confusing now let's say p let's say it is some kind of p and 2 power p is actually equal to 8 so answer this question now what should be the power of 2 so that you get 8 i know this can be written as 2 to the power 3 so it says what should be the power of 2 so that you get 8 the power has to be 3 so our value p is actually equal to 3 and here the answer has to be what should be the power of 2 so that you get 8 the answer is 3 that is how you do this logarithmic thing now even though we have done this understood the logarithmic representation there are lots of things that goes beyond it okay first let's understand what is this inversion even though we change it x y how does it look in the graph for that we have to understand first we have to learn the graphs of each and every logarithmic function first 
okay let's start with the base a even though a we have we have established already a belongs to 0 to 1 union 1 to infinity all right this is where the a belongs to and now let's draw the graph and see them All right now we have two situations so i'm going to write it here if a happens to be from 0 to 1 is one situation if a happens to be greater than 1 that is the other situation okay in this scenarios the graph 0 to 1 the graph will some look something like this all right so let's uh, change it into a different color okay in the case of greater than one the graph will look something like this okay so this is logarithmic graph for both scenarios these are two cases okay these are the two cases we'll study these two cases now one by one we have case one in this case one we'll talk about this particular graph okay and we'll learn them how the nature of the graph is just like we did in exponential function if this is the graph what are the observation you have let's write down each observations first observation is it's decreasing graph it's a decreasing graph okay and it intersect x-axis at 1 comma 0 intersect x axis at 1 comma 0 x axis right what is the other thing you see so you see if you have x less than 1 then y is greater than 0 if x is less than 1 then y is greater than 0 that is established the other property is if x happens to be greater than 1 then y is less than 0 right and we also see the very important thing x is always positive right because obviously a is positive so no matter what power you put, you will get positive results. These are the case one results. Okay. Now we have another scenario. Case two. In case two, what we see is first one is like it's increasing it's an increasing function right second we see that even here it is 1 comma 0 right it's increasing function and we see at x going to infinity the graph goes to infinity if x is tending to infinity the graph is also tending to infinity right if x is tending to 0 the graph is tending to negative of infinity this is one observation we have and what is the thing graph is if x is greater than 1 then graph is greater than 0 we see if x is greater than 1 the graph is great see, we can see if x is greater than 1 the graph is positive right this is what we say similarly if x happens to be less than 1 it is less than 1 graph is negative you can see if x is less than 1 if it belongs here the graph happens to be negative like this is what we observe what else did we do here decreasing graph intersect and yes same even here one more point we can see even here x is always positive because even here 
a is greater than 1 so obviously x has to be positive and this is what we say these are the two natures of these graphs okay and we have done some problems regarding this in the previous video so these are the conclusion of these graphs all right now let's go to the inversion part we have talked about inversion we have to know what is inversion here so let's take a scenario we have a graph and we are interested in its inversion so I'll show you what is actually inversion. Y is a to the power x. This is exponential function. Okay. Let's say I draw that exponential function with this. This is our exponential function. Okay. It has to be much more precise, but it's not. Let's say this is a graph. Y equal to a power x is our exponential function. Okay. For the same a, the inversion will give you log base a x equal to y logarithmic function okay you can clearly see if this is the graph we know a is greater than 1 and right? a is greater than 1 that is when you get this graph for that if you check the graph what will happen you know the graph right you know the graph so to find that graph it's pretty easy you see that graph happens to be inversion what is inversion x has become y and y has become x so to understand that just let's say we draw a particular line okay we take a line and that line is passing through origin what is this line this line is called y equal to x line okay this line is y equal to x line so when inversion happens, this is going to be a mirror image of this particular graph, right? So if you try to find out the mirror image of this particular graph, you can see if you try to find mirror image pro properly, it will look something like this, right? It looks. Even though I did not draw properly, let's say erase this thing. around this okay approximately this is how the inverted graph will look like so this is the graph of y equal to log base a x let's check we know see it's exactly the same this blue curve is exact this is called inversion all right this is how inversion of this graph looks like we can do inversion for another graph which we learned. Now imagine for inversion first we need let's say y equal to x. Yeah, we have y equal to x line. So in that case the inversion will start with the normal graph. We know the graph will look something like this this is the graph for a belonging to 0 to 1 right and this is the graph a power x graph so the inversion will look something like very similar just like the previous case This will be y equal to log base a x where a belongs to 0 to 1. This is the inversion of the graph. This is how the inversion graph will be. This is y equal to x. Okay, this is called inversion of the graphs and this is how we get logarithmic graph functions. I hope you understood. Thank you.